it up. Now ending it off with the performance, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra had that Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset with 12 gigabytes of RAM. There's only one model of that device where the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset inside of it with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now this is another case in point where really you're not going to notice that big of a difference like the performance wise between these two phones. There is absolutely no difference that I could tell. I think the main advantage the S20 Ultra has is that additional RAM. So RAM management is going to be better on the S20 Ultra, but for really everything else, the speed wise and everything, the S21 Plus is going to be the faster phone. I would definitely say day to day tasks and even some like mid tier tasks if you're like trying to like do Excel work on your phone, if you're trying to like send papers and write documents and stuff like that and multitask between a bunch of stuff, both these phones are going to be perfectly fine for the most part. Again, multitasking will probably go for the S20 Ultra, but you're really not going to notice that big of a difference. Even in extreme gaming, like if you're playing like a bunch of heavy games, you're also not really going to notice that big of a difference. Like both these phones are going to be doing a really good job when it comes down to the performance segment. Now, I, maybe if you like try to multitask between super heavy games and you're going from one game to the other and to the other, maybe you're going to notice a little bit of a difference, but I would probably say the least amount of difference you're going to see between these phones is the performance. These phones are so close to one another that you're really not going to notice it. I mean, do you really notice a big difference between like the Galaxy S3 and Galaxy S4 in this day and age? Not really. Even like the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus or S8 Plus and S9 Plus, they're almost kind of like the same thing. You know, they, they have the same type of performance. And that's kind of how I'm seeing it with these two phones. Maybe the S21 Plus is a little bit faster, but the S20 Ultra is going to be giving you much better RAM management when it comes down to it. So in terms of performance, that's pretty much how I see it. Now,